Good morning from me and little Pepper. Oh, he's so unhappy. He wants to be let down. Yeah. Oh, Pepper. Oh, Pepper. What a sweet boy. What a sweet boy. Look at your face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Please don't lick my face. Look at this sweet boy. Look at this sweet boy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. So I have got my little vanilla chai. I, it's just like literally a chai, like vanilla chai tea bag. And then I foamed oat milk and I poured it on top, but it's so delicious and it smells so good. What are we doing today? What's on the agenda for today? So I'm actually going to FaceTime one of my friends. Um, we have a little FaceTime date set up, so that's gonna be fun. Um, uh, but I don't know, I guess we'll just kind of see where the day goes. I do have this really like bougie Tata Harper mask that I want to test out because it's been sitting on my counter for so long and I just haven't had the opportunity to try it so I figured we could try it together. But yeah, after we do the Tata Harper resurfacing mask, I'm going to do my morning skincare routine. It's actually a very gloomy overcast day today. So it's probably good weather to go running because it's not crazy hot. It's actually been really hot here recently, um, like in the 90s. So I think maybe I'm gonna go for a run later. Definitely need to do yoga because I feel very crunchy. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like you feel really crunchy? Um, like especially on my hips and on my shoulders. Like I have, I get really tight shoulders because I hold a lot of tension here and my hips are just very tight naturally. So I have to like spend a lot of extra effort and energy in order to loosen up those joints um, and flexors. So yeah, that's kind of on the agenda to do today. But anyway, I'm going to get some work done. Um, I need to plan my day. I need to do my morning pages. I Can you believe I'm talking to you before I even do my morning pages? What? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. Ooh, my hair is not doing something good. Um, anyway, so I am currently trying out, I don't know if you can see it on my face, but it's kind of shiny right now because I'm doing the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. I got a little sample of this and it looked really interesting, so I, I put it on my face. But I actually did not check the ingredients too closely, so let's go ahead and check them out right now. So I have my laptop right here um, and we're going to look at the ingredients in the mask. Okay, so it's called the Tata Harper Resurfacing BHA Glow Mask. It says, a mask that banishes dullness and refines look of pores to reveal healthy looking skin. Okay, I like that. So highlighted ingredient, natural BHA from willow bark extract. I don't know how I feel about that because salicylic acid is like the gold standard as far as exfoliation goes for um, pore concerns because it's oil soluble and everything. Um, willow bark extract, I don't think is as effective as salicylic acid, but we'll, we'll take it for now. Pomegranate enzymes, again, I don't think that fruit enzymes are the best option for exfoliation. I do think that, you know, glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, any sort of AHA like that is going to be a lot more effective than any sort of fruit enzyme. Just because fruit enzymes generally tend to be very, very unstable. Oh, by the way, I need to set a timer on this. I don't want to leave it on for too long. It says to leave it on for up to 20 minutes. So let's do 15 minutes. Okay, also formulated with pink clay, gently absorbs oil and build up to refine pores. Okay, that's cool. Um, clay generally is very absorbent, and so it does, um, you know, absorb excess oil, and also because it's so absorbent, it can help to dislodge debris inside pores. So looking at the whole ingredients list, um, oh wow, it actually looks really nice. I do see some, you know, essential oils, but it's a mask, I'm not too concerned about it. I do have to say that the mask itself, I, I thought it was going to be gritty for some reason, but it actually has like a very like jelly texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a very jelly texture to it and it smells really nice. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this on. I'm not sure if it's gonna dry necessarily. It's still like a bit tacky. Um, I'm gonna let this marinate on my face and I'm going to actually make myself a smoothie, I think, or maybe, maybe an egg burrito because I'm really hungry. 
Okay, so it has been about 15 minutes. My face feels really tight, actually, like the mask has dried down onto my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we'll see how my skin looks after. Okay, so honestly, that was kind of a fail. Like my skin doesn't look or feel any different. Actually, it feels a little bit dry. So that's definitely not what I was going for. So I need some hydration ASAP. Okay, so actually this mask was kind of a fail. Like my skin feels super tight and very dry. So I definitely don't like that. Um, my skin doesn't look or feel any different. I do think that with a BHA mask like this, you do have to use it multiple times a week in order to see the best results. But I do think that using a lower percentage of salicylic acid overnight several times a week is going to be way more effective than a you know $65 mask that makes your skin super dry. So to add some hydration back to my skin I'm going to use the Visviva Urea 5% and Niacinamide 5% Rose Water Serum. This is just like so lovely, so hydrating, so beautiful. I'm going to apply that to my skin. Yeah I did not like that mask at all, that did not feel good. It was like a cool texture to put on because it's like a very um jelly texture but it just made my skin feel super super dry which is really unfortunate because i loved the experience of using it now for my sunscreen obviously cosrx aloe soothing sun cream um i'm not gonna go outside today because it actually got really hot and sunny very quickly so i'm not gonna apply like a ton of sunscreen i'm gonna apply enough but not a ton I probably need to brush my hair. I haven't brushed my hair since I washed it last night. So I'm super hungry, so I'm going to make some food. Um, I need to get some work done on my ebook, which I'm super excited about because um, I've been working on it for a long time. Um, I kind of took a break from working on it for a couple months at the beginning of this year because I just got a little bit burned out because I was working on it so much but I'm going to start working on it again and hopefully it'll be ready for purchase soon. I'm not going to give you a date because I don't know when I'll be done with like writing and editing and formatting and everything, but hopefully soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, we're just going to continue with the day. Okay, so hello. Thank you. So change of plans. I just finished lunch and it's actually quite overcast outside, so what I'm going to do is go outside and do a little bit of gardening because my front yard has like these flowers that are really beautiful. I don't actually know what they are, so I'll probably show you guys and you guys can tell me what they are because I don't know what they are. But since it's not super sunny, I figured I would take this time to pull out some of the plants that I don't like. So I'm going to do that while it's still overcast so I don't roast in the sun. We've got two little chicken nuggets out here. Look at the little nuggets. They're gonna keep me company. Okay, so these are the flowers I wanted to show you guys, but they're kind of dead. So maybe not right now. You can identify them, but maybe later when they're flowered. I also have these little purple flowers, which are really, really cute. Um, I'm not sure how tall these will grow actually, but for now they're like a really nice, kind of like low, low hanging, what do you call it? Like ground cover, I guess. So this is what it currently looks like. I wanna take out these nasty weeds because I think they're inhibiting the growth of the other flowers. Um, and I wanna put some like ground cover flowers in the front just so there's like a pop of color because when these bloom, they are so beautiful. Well, it is the next day and I have the little puppies outside with me, uh, but I wanted to show you the progress of my garden. I'm actually so excited. It looks so nice. So here are the little puppies. They're exploring. Oh, Pepper. Pepper, you're caught on your leash. Oh my goodness. Can I help you? 
Can I please help you? Come here. Oh, you did a pause or what? Okay, anyway. This is what the garden looks like. So clearly, like, we got rid of a lot of weeds and we planted these um, verbena plants at the very bottom. So we alternated pink and white and I think it looks so cute. The grass looking plant that's in the middle is called Liriope. Um, it has purple flowers. I don't know if you can see that, but it has purple flowers. Come here, Cayenne. Let's show the people. Yeah, you can see a little bit better here, but there are little purple flowers. Oh, Pepper, really? Do you have to pee on everything? Seriously? Seriously? And then in the back, we have apricot drift roses, and they are so pretty when they bloom. I'll put a picture on the screen of when they bloomed a couple weeks ago. It's kind of weird though. Pepper, get off the flowers, like seriously? Pepper, let's go. Let's go. But, like, look at how pretty this little bloom is. She's so cute. But yeah, these are apricot drift. Then we have Liriope, and then we have Verbena. Oh, I can't believe I just spent like five minutes, okay, which is like kind of a long time, uh, looking for a hair tie. There was like not a single hair tie in my vicinity, so I had to go look for one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my morning skincare routine, but I'm not gonna talk you through it because it's the exact same skincare routine that I did yesterday, and I feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive, so I'm just going to blitz you through this uh, on, my, on a time lapse, so let's get into that. <laughs> 